You can't have too many options when it comes to working with dynamic content, especially if you have zero budget to spend on things. Today, I'm going to show you some really useful features with some plugins that cost zero dollars. First of all, we've already seen dynamic conditions from RTO. I've covered that in previous videos, which you can check out in the corner right now if you want to and have a look. Link will also be in the description. Well, they recently brought out a new plugin. So let's take a look at that and see how that works in conjunction with dynamic conditions. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the dynamic conditions plugin, which we've covered in many different videos. It's an incredibly useful little plugin that allows you to show and hide various different things. While it's powerful, this in conjunction with the new dynamic tags plugin opens up even more options. So let's take a look. So this allows you to grab information and check various different values and you can either output the information or you can use it in conjunction with dynamic conditions to make it even more powerful. So I'm going to be able to show you a couple of examples in this video, but really I would highly recommend installing these onto a demo site and testing them out for yourself just to see some of the things you can do. So you can see we've got text tags, which allows us to target cookies, sessions, current language of the website, which works with WPML and Polylang. You can check out the current URL, loads of different things. You can also grab things like post tags for your post content, post parent, post status, post type. Great if you want to do things in a front end dashboard and you want to check various different parameters, you could use this in conjunction with that to give you even more functionality. You've also then got things like yes, no tags. So for things like are comments allowed, those kinds of things. I've already installed both of these plugins, as you can see. Now we're going to just hop over into one of my templates and I'm just going to show you a couple of simple examples of how you can get started. So let's open up the template section. I've already created a single post template. Let's open that up. We'll choose to edit this. It's just using one of the normal templates that's part of Elementor, but you can build this out to your heart's content. So now we've opened up our template. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to use this comment section for this particular example. We want to make sure that this is only shown on certain post categories. So let's select it. What we're going to do is going to come to the advanced tab, open up the dynamic conditions option. And if you've ever used dynamic conditions in the past, you'll now notice we've got this dynamic tag option at the top, which is new when we have the dynamic tags plugin installed. If we select that, we can now see all the different dynamic tags we can access with this. And there are a lot more features available inside here now, in addition to any kind of normal element or options. You can see we've got things like number of posts. So is current user the author of the post? Is it a feed? Is it the front page? Is it the home page? Is the post in a specific category? Tons and tons of things inside you, including post parents, post status, post types. So if you want to check various different things to show or hide, you can use these kind of functions. Great if you want to create a front end dashboard for your users and then show and hide various different features based upon different parameters. For our example, though, we just basically want to check to see if this particular post is in a specific category. So we choose is post in category. We can now go ahead and build our condition on top of that new now using dynamic conditions. So what we're going to do is we can say we want to show or hide this based upon the conditions result. We'll say to show it. Then we can set our condition. And inside there, we've got all the normal conditions we have with the dynamic conditions plugin. We're going to set this to be is equal to. The compare type, we've got a range of options. Now, text is also going to work with numeric values. It's not limited to just text. But if you want to check against dates, weekdays, months, those kinds of things, you can do that. We'll leave the set to text. And then we've got our condition value. So inside here, we basically insert the condition value, what's going to be returned to either show or hide this to make sure the condition is met. There's an easy way to find out what result is actually going to be returned whenever you want to use this kind of function. But the easiest way to look is if it returns a true value, in other words, it is correct, it'll return a value of one. If it's not true, in other words, it doesn't meet the conditions we set, no value is returned. So by setting this is equal to one, means that it has to meet that criteria. Now, everything is set up except for one important factor. We haven't actually set what category or categories we want to reference. To do that, we come back up to our dynamic tag and we can click on the little wrench icon. We'll select that and now we can go ahead and set the category or categories inside here. So you're not limited to one, you can add as many as you want to. For this example though, we're gonna just basically say uncategorized. So what we've done now is we set our condition to say, is the post in the category of uncategorized? If it meets the condition, then show it. If it doesn't, hide it. So we'll just update this. We'll hop over to our test page. We'll refresh the page and we'll scroll down. 
And as you can see, we don't have that particular option available. So the comment feature is disabled because this particular post is not an uncategorized post. So let's go ahead and just quickly change that. Let's edit the post. Let's change this from news to uncategorized and update. Let's go ahead, open the post back up. And now because it's uncategorized, if we scroll down, you can see there's our comment section available to us. So it's very easy to set these kinds of things up. But how do you know what value is going to be returned? Is there an easy way of actually being able to see that? There is. Let me just quickly show you. So let's go ahead, insert an ordinary text field. We'll drop that heading inside there. We'll click on the little dynamic tags op option. We'll choose is post in category. We'll select it, click on the wrench icon, set the category to be uncategorized, and you can see that now returns a value of one. So that one says it's in that uncategorized category. If we remove that from there, and we set this to be news, you'll see nothing is returned because it's no longer in the news category. So that's how easy it is to see what values return so you can then check against it relatively easily. Okay, so that's a really simple example, but we have a lot more options available. Let's get rid of this one. And let's say we want to take a look at things like the number of posts. Well, we can select that option. You can click on the little wrench icon, and if you want to, you can set up things like your category, your post type. So inside there, you can see uncategorized, We've also got post type. We can set things like posts, pages, revisions, and so on. Great if you want to just simply output the number of posts in a particular section. Again, great if you want to set this up to work alongside a front-end dashboard, those kinds of things. So if you want to do other things on your front-end dashboard or anywhere you want to use these options, you can see we've got lots of different options like post status. We can select that. That'll come back and tell us this is published, but if it was draft and so on, it would tell us that information. So there's lots and lots of ways in which you can use this to either just simply output information or use it to check against various different things to use this inside your conditions. So I would highly recommend taking a look at this, experimenting with what can be done with it because there's an awful lot of options inside there Using conjunction with the dynamic conditions plugin, you have a pretty powerful set of options, all for zero cost whatsoever. Hopefully you found this useful, interesting, and something you may want to check out yourself. As always, all the applicable links are in the description below. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this plugin, or anything else on this video, let me know in the comment section. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.